Next up, we are going to be sowing our stocks. Look at those flowers. Doesn't it make you so excited to get growing? We're going to be sowing both the cut flower variety and the pot stocks. The scent is just intoxicating. So these are our new pot stocks. So if you've been desperate to grow our stocks and join in the grow along, but you just haven't got the space, look at that, these are for you. Now, because the stocks only have one flower spike and it is totally worth growing them because what a flower spike. We don't tend to pick the pot stocks. We just leave them just to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But the cut flower varieties, I pick some and I leave some for the garden. But I thought, wouldn't it be nice to try and extend the season? So last spring, I did a sowing now. Now the window goes on for another three or four weeks. So I did a sowing now and then another sowing in three weeks time. And I found that just as the first sowing was starting to go over in the garden, and you can cut them down and put something else there instead. The second sowing was just coming into bloom. So I really had an extended harvest. So this is perfect if you've got any gaps in your borders from the very harsh winter that we've just had. These are the stocks. Now, don't worry if yours is not as big as these, and don't worry if you've not even planted them yet. It just means that you started them a bit later, but they grow really fast. Look at that incredible i've got some more to put in actually so i could hopefully stagger the harvest i'll see how well that works i've kept a, an eye on all the sowing dates so i can let you know exactly what to do next time so here are the stocks they're just starting to flower now and they will put more and more and more flower rosettes on the top of these plants so they'll just get taller and taller and taller. Everything is going on now. The weather has really warmed up. I'm desperately trying to get the very last of the stocks. I've done loads this year, so we can do lots of arrangements together. Uh, I want to get the last ones out in the ground before the rains come. This is stock and this is the rainbow mix. So if you can't decide what colour, then you can get yourself a packet of these. They smell delicious. Wondering if you can do a third and a fourth sowing. The trouble with that is if you cut down the succession sowing to less than three weeks, what will happen is they kind of all catch up with each other and you won't really see that succession of flowers. They'll all be flowering at the same time, all taking up loads of room in your garden. You won't be able to clear the bed. The other issue is if you sow them any later, they won't experience cold growing conditions and the pot stocks in particular really need that cold growing conditions because it changes the colour of the leaf. And when it changes the colour of the leaf, you can then select out the singles so you can have all doubles in your pots. There is a video on my website which shows you exactly how to do it when the time comes. I've got a tray of different stocks here. These are the pot stocks. And can you see they are light green and dark green in colour? Now, you would think that the singles would be the light green ones, wouldn't you? But you'd be wrong. They're actually the dark green ones, which I think actually look a bit healthier, but they're not. <laughs> so anyway, that's much easier than trying to sort out the cotyledons, I think. This is a single stock. So not all stocks will come out as doubles. So make sure if you want doubles only, then grow twice as many as you need. Simple, there's plenty of seeds in your packet. Now it's important that you buy the right types of stocks. These I've tested to make sure they grow well in the garden. Lots of stock varieties are bred for greenhouse growing only, and they don't stand up to the British weather, but these are absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna sow them 
onto the surface of this damp compost. There we go. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that they've got good contact. So I'm just going to give them a little tap down with my dibber. You can just give them a light sprinkling of compost if you want to, but I just find that they're so easy. They're really not fussy at all. Don't forget your label and a clear propagator lid just to keep the environment nice and humid. So stocks like a warm germination period of about 18 to 21 degrees. You don't have to be too precise. So you can set your heat mat in your greenhouse. They will not take long to germinate. So they'll be off of it before you know it. Or you can germinate them in the house. Just make sure you keep a close eye on them and move them out to the greenhouse as quickly as possible once they've germinated so they don't get leggy. Now for both the stocks and the melope, propagate a lid over the top, especially if it's in a heat mat to stop the compost from drying out too quickly, keep the environment around the seed nice and humid. And the good thing about having a thermostat in a greenhouse is this heat mat's off. It turns itself off when it gets too warm, so there's no risk of boiling my seed babies to death. A quick look at the stocks, oh my goodness me. This is about the third tray. They germinate so fast, this is about the third tray I've done. So I'm gonna remove this from the heat so somebody else can have the turn. And I'm going to put it on a light, bright windowsill in the greenhouse. These are nice and hardy, so you don't need to worry about keeping them in the house. Just be careful with what you sow. I'm guiding you, so you'll be fine if you've been following me, but be careful what you sow because not everything is going to be happy in a cold greenhouse. It's still nippy. One final thing to remember is that stocks don't like to be root bound. If you leave them in their seed trays too long and you don't plant them out when they need it, what can happen is they can start flowering in their seed trays. And even if you plant them straight away afterwards, they're never going to recover. So they're one of the plants that we need to keep a close eye on and move on quickly. I'll move them onto the 15 cells and then straight out into the garden. We'll just see what the weather's like and I will give you a prompt. We'll do it together. As always, all the information you need for sowing and growing stocks is also covered in your handbook.